it's me hi i'm your guy and then it's the other guy and here he is it's aj i am also here hi hello I, that was on? that was ex extremely abrupt listen i had to redo all of the scenes just for this one stream <laughs> <laughs> aj long time listeners long and time viewers first time know that aj was here all of the time it's been a long time since we've done this a year Wait, only a only a year no it's been a while yeah, something like that. I don't know. I've definitely been on the Wolf Den podcast for sure. <laughs> <laughs> Remember when I wanted to have more guests on the Wolf Den podcast, and then I yeah, and then that stopped having happen. guests. <laughs> Still, I'm the only guest. I'm the most tenured guest by far. Yes, I would say so. <laughs> so you were on episode 91, which was 11 months ago. Mm -hmm, You're right. Mm -hmm. You're right. You were on here pretty recently. I know uh, my Wolf Den podcast lore. Yes, uh, Will abandoned me, so here we are. We're here with AJ. Uh, AJ from previously Fanatics for now watch du direct. It's watch redirect. 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 Like the, the URL is watch redirect because redirect slash redirect is partially unavailable at all. Period. It's like not allowed on okay. some websites. It turns out, and other ones it's taken. So we did the like watch Verve. Remember Verve? The crunchy roll yeah. thing. We did that. It's a prompt. <laughs> it's like, oh. hey, watch our thing. Okay. Mm -hmm. Well, anyway, uh, we're talking about a lot of things today. We're talking about uh, apparently there's more PlayStation 5 Pro rumors. Wow. Could you even mm. imagine? Uh, there's also a new PlayStation 5 that was dropped in real life. That actually happened. Oh, it's not even a rumor. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Uh, a leak about the project queue, a lot of PlayStation stuff today. Uh, some emulation yeah, stuff. Favorite. Dolphin just gave up. They threw in the towel. <laughs> uh, more emulation stuff. And that's with a couple of little more things to talk about. But first, thank you to, hey, AJ, for subscribing mm -hmm. for 64 months. <laughs> yeah. The Bob and Wolf uh, account messed up those numbers. Yes. Uh, oh, yeah. They remember that? Longtime viewers yeah. will know. Uh, yeah. <laughs> and Chris BX, thanks for the 57 months. Evening all. Hello. How you doing? Uh, all right. I have the little auto switcher where it's supposed to switch between us, and it's it, there's going to be some weird scene breaking, so bear with me while I figure that out. Anyway, let's talk about... Let's jump Let's jump into the PlayStation 5 Pro. What do you know about this PlayStation 5 Pro? Do you know anything about this? these rooms? Uh, I know it's supposed to be 8K, even though no developers will use it. Um, that's about it. That's all I know. <laughs> so Will linked me to an article from thegamer.com. You know, the one, the one gamer. Uh, the but, one and only. But they link to keytogaming.com. So I feel like I should just read the key to gaming.com. Sure. All right. I'll, uh, fuck it, dude. Uh, <laughs> it's been a month since F Xbox chief Phil Spencer revealed in an interview that Microsoft does not have plans for a mid-generation refresh of the Xbox Series X and S. According to Spencer, Xbox hasn't received the feedback that would warrant such a refresh with two SKUs already on the market from the Xbox side. That feedback isn't at all surprising. In fact, according to Digital Foundry, the company had said during the Xbox Series S and X reveal that the X is already this generation's Xbox Pro offering, and the company decided to launch it ahead of time. Are you, I knew that that was a thing, but launching it ahead of time, I didn't know that was a thing. But despite Xbox's stance on another console, where does this leave PlayStation? Well, according to my own sources, this guy, the key to gaming guy, the guy said, uh, who has to remain anonymous because they were unauthorized to speak in such details, the PlayStation 5 Pro is in development and it's codenamed Trinity, which I think is a thing. It's like a thing with PlayStation stuff. If you think the codename has some familiarity, you're right. Sony ha has used the Matrix codenames in the past. There you go. With the PlayStation 4 <laughs> Pro under the codename Neo and the PlayStation VR under Morpheus. Now, this still doesn't mean oh, anything yeah. because you could just, any schmo could Anybody put the could two together. Anybody like, could recognize that trend and say, yeah. like, all of this. Exactly. 
It's understood that Trinity has been in development since early 2022, with sources citing that although the rumors of a canceled PlayStation 5 Pro project are always fun to read, in quotes, uh, Trinity has been the only project in the works for the Pro model, despite dates being tentative. It's understood that the demo events for the PlayStation 5 Pro are already ongoing, with a majority of studios receiving development kits by late November of this year. Although the pros specs were difficult to pin down, admittedly, due to my lack of technical prowess, sources have stated that Trinity will have 30 watt GP, 330 WGP, and 18,000 MTS memories. What's that mean, Bob? I thought it was GDP. I thought it was G... It's, That's it's the gonna, government. It's, it's going to be powerful and so fast. I actually don't. I have no idea what the... I, How many I th- teraflops is that? I think the WGP is like what like the handheld like Windows devices use f- in, for when talking about power. Like You press the little button and it makes it draw mm-hmm. more power but sucks more battery life. It's what mm-hmm. makes my ROG ally die after 45 minutes of playing Street Fighter. Uh, so anyway, as for the console's performance targets and as to be expected, the PlayStation 5 Pro will be targeting improved and consistent FPS at 4K resolution, a new performance mode for 8K resolution and accelerated ray tracing. Whether or not a PlayStation 5 Pro console is desired enough in the current market remains to be seen, but as of writing, the PlayStation 5 Pro is in development and is targeted a November 2024 release. Trinity appears to be PlayStation's last bits of major hardware for this generation blah 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 and talks about all the other stuff that they got going on uh oh and at the end this is as mentioned on twitter account i currently have no information on the playstation 5 slim rumors as reported via insider gaming a new playstation 5 with a detachable disc drive is expected to launch later this year it's understood that this isn't a slim version and is set to completely replace the existing playstation 5 so i completely forgot about that i thought these were the same thing no the the previous rumors that we were talking about was about uh we in a previous episode we talked about rumors where there were three new SKUs: the project q which we now know is an actual thing uh the weird midline slim guy that's gonna be a little cheaper and not have a disk drive or have a detachable disk drive. And then the third one was the Pro. And I was like, the Pro's not happening. That's insane. What's the benefit of having a detachable disk drive? So I thought the same thing. I was like, nobody's buying the diskless PlayStation 5. There's no reason to have a detachable disk drive on your PlayStation 5. But um, you know that the PlayStation 5, well, you've always been saying that the PlayStation 5 launched and it needed a lot more time to bake in the oven it it, it yeah. launched like it's still not really out yet yeah there's they keep <laughs> releasing features and 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 like you couldn't even re- uh, put in the uh, expandable storage mm-hmm. a year after the thing was already out you had the slot there but you couldn't put anything in it um it launched in like a broken state and it's still kind of janky and, and, and it, it, it it could benefit from a mid-cycle refresh um the idea here is that they launch this mid-cycle refresh for a little bit cheaper and they make you buy the disk drive to mitigate the 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 difference in price okay so i actually don't hate that idea i actually think that that might be pretty reasonable it's weird that the uh that the current diskless model doesn't support a disk drive like they could have just did that anyway just let people buy a disk drive they there's still room for that but because i mean you could just plug it in through USB-C, i guess but um i wouldn't put it past sony to just completely block the old disc list version from just not working with any new expandable blu-ray drives yeah because my thought was i thought that they like intentionally did that and made it not work with like um external disk drives because then they can make more money 
through forcing people to buy through PlayStation Network because then they get the licensing fee and all that stuff. I don't know what exactly the reason is, but I know that uh, Xbox did the same thing. You can't use an expandable yeah. disk drive on the Series S, even though it sounds like it would be relatively easy to do. Um, mm -hmm. Actually, I don't think the Series S has a USB-C connection. No, it's only USB-A. Uh, but the PlayStation 5 does. So is USB 3 not fast enough for the Blu-ray Honest, drive? Honestly, most of what you're doing with a Blu-ray drive these days is installing the game. Yeah. So it's just it's just glorified DRM. Yeah, so it would just install slower. So mm. there is no reason not to allow generic over the counter usb drives to work it's just mm -hmm. them being dumb and proprietary i'm yeah. very disappointed in xbox because usually they let you do whatever the hell you want mm -hmm. uh sony i'm not surprised them them making you buy their version of yeah. it yeah. um so anyway i have the article open about the the old mid-cycle slim version so the slim one was supposed to come out this year the thing that kind of blew my mind was that rumor launched along with the Project Q rumor, and the Project Q ended up being a real thing that Sony announced. And I was it's hideous. Uh, I hate it. <laughs> it's absolutely an abomination. But uh, that kind of gives credit to the to the slim version. The Pro model, I don't see a need for a Pro at all, even if it comes out next year. It just doesn't make any sense I, I i think it makes a lot more sense to release something that's just uh, like where they figured it out like right now they, they still have manufacturing issues with the playstation 5 it's 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 uh it's rough around the edges just having a mid console cycle refresh that like you know is easier to produce and has the mm -hmm. kinks ironed out that's at the bare minimum the same price makes the most sense to me having something yeah. that's going to be do more it, money it, it, doesn't make any sense yeah because like they could just literally do what they've done every single generation <laughs> and yeah. make like like they did with the ps1 after the psx or the playstation 2 slim or the playstation 3 slim or the refreshes of even the playstation 3 slim after that <laughs> um them needing to do like a pro version of the console doesn't make a whole lot of sense especially if they're not going to like really make use of those things because like the promise of the pro was 4k and there was a lot of games that like were 4k but for the most part they're like upscaled and like that sort of stuff they're barely hitting 4k 60 this generation with this console so 8K is not going to happen. And they're not. They're, we're not getting a, a, a noteworthy amount of 8K video games on this PlayStation. Yeah, the 8K. I mean, th th that's what I saw when I saw the original tweet about the PlayStation 5 Pro. I saw the 8K, you know, tagline, and I was like, okay, this mm. is ridiculous. But when <laughs> I read it in the article just now, I was like, that makes a little more sense because. That's what PlayStation was saying when the PlayStation 5 was launching. They were saying this can mm. hit 8K because right. it can technically hit 8K. There's just no games that are going to do that. So the yeah. spec is there, but they're never going to reach that spec. If you want to play Tetris in 8K, we got the console for you. Yeah. But if you're trying to play Cyberpunk or whatever the hell, it's not happening. Yeah. I, I, I think that... Companies like Sony have a history of having a little mid-cycle reflash that's like very slightly more powerful just mm -hmm. to give it a little bit of a frame rate bump so that they can actually hit the targets that they're promising, but mm -hmm. nothing that boasts like, you know, this is the pro model. They did that one generation, <laughs> the last mm -hmm. generation. That was the only time. And right now... With chip shortages and everything, it's uh, it's been a lot different than it was back then. They were just firing out, you know, hardware. Uh, that's but... the thing that's crazy is about it to me. And like, th they've ran into this problem largely because of the chip shortage. And mm. then, like, you know how we fix that problem? We 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 we've released a console with a new, different chip. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> instead of instead of accruing chips that we we've been manufacturing this console for three years now. Um, 
you would think that they got better at it. Why yeah. complicate that and make another console? <laughs> or two, yeah. even. So the idea is that they make a PlayStation 5 that's easier to produce with the mm. materials that are easier to get. And that's why I think it'd be... I, I think it makes more sense why there would be a Something slim like version. That. Not or, a yeah, pro. Exactly. Right. Something that just makes it easier for them to make uh, the console that they wanted to in the first place. Mm -hmm. I think that software is still having a hard time keeping up with the hardware that we have. Uh, yeah, and, but that's been PlayStation for the last generation yeah. plus. I think that... Uh, so we got some new footage of Spider-Man that I haven't seen yet from mm -hmm. from Comic-Con last week. Yeah. Um, and I think that the screenshots that they released were like 1440p or something. They weren't the 4K target that they were saying. They, they were saying this is like 4K performance mode or whatever. But mm -hmm. uh, there they, yeah, they, they didn't hit that. It must have been like a dynamic uh, resolution or something. So... Mm -hmm. uh, even that, even even their like flagship titles are are not. I mean, they're beautiful. Like Spider Man looks gorgeous, right. but you're coming out here saying you 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 can do up to 8K, and you're not even doing 4K. Yeah. Yep. <laughs> so, but they don't have to though. Like, no, they don't. Th because most people are not going to know. You know, them saying like, "Oh, Spider Man Two, it's a 4K video game," and then we get these 1440p screenshots like. Joe Schmo is not going to pixel peep that. Yeah, you know, no, it like looks. They, they it, might find out when they watch Digital Foundry, but then you know that then you're like zooming in even further to the type of person that would do that. I literally found out about that because I was watching Digital Foundry. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, I wouldn't have noticed, and I wouldn't have cared. I, I mm -hmm. now, so all my videos on YouTube are 4K. I frequently shoot stuff in 1080p because nobody notices or cares. I still do 1080p. I could do 4K, but why? I just talk about Switch games, man. I noticed that I used to uh, upload. If, if I, uh, we've talked about this, but I, I had uh, some videos where I, if I had gameplay in in the in the video, I would upload it at 60 frames per second. Mm -hmm. And when I would do that, it would come up. It would say 1080p, 60 frames, or whatever. And mm -hmm. comments would be like, "Oh my God, 60 frames, heart emoji," or like, or like heart eye emoji. Meanwhile. All Your footage, of my footage 30. is 24. Yeah. yeah. So like these. Oh, you do 24? MKBHD I do 24. I know. MKBHD. I don't know what. I don't <laughs> understand it. I don't understand why he loves 30 so much. Um, yeah. Every, I'm in. I'm in 24 right now. But we're streaming in. We're streaming in 60. See the other computer where we normally do the podcast that streams in 24. Um. But. It creates some weird, uh, like stutter sometimes. Sometimes you might see like one of the cameras looks a little jittery, and that's because the cameras are like in like twenty three point nine eight, and then the Elgato's like don't do twenty four yeah, at yeah, all. They do 20, yeah, they do thirty. Uh, they do thirty. Uh, OBS only does 24. They don't do 23.98. So mm -hmm. like every, everything's a little fucked up. Yep. Anyway, we went off on a tangent. <laughs> Remember the Nintendo Switch Pro rumors? And then that ended up turning into an OLED Switch that wasn't yeah. a Pro at all. I think yep. that this is going to be the exact same thing. I think that maybe they were trying something with a PlayStation 5 Pro, but we're ultimately going to end up with just a mid-cycle iteration just a slim and the reason why could, xbox isn't doing that is because they don't need to <laughs> yeah i could see playstation going through with this i feel like with nintendo they saw the writing on the wall with the chip shortage and they're like ah we don't want we don't want to mess with that mm -hmm. am i i'm allowed to say the fuck word right you are <laughs> no only i can say the fuck word that's crazy. Um, <laughs> they don't want to fuck with that. So they're like, ah, we're just going to do OLED, right? We're just going to, mm -hmm. we, we have all these screens. So let's just make this console that is like more or less the same, better screen, better kickstand, so on and so forth, and ship it. But PlayStation, I think they care enough about being able to say, we got a brand new spec. Everybody, mm -hmm. not only do we want to let, uh, get people that don't have a PlayStation 5 to buy a PlayStation 5 Pro. We want people that have PlayStation 5s to throw their PlayStation 5 in the garbage <laughs> and buy a PlayStation 5 Pro. 
<laughs> so like I could definitely see them doing it. I think it would be smarter for them to just do a slim refresh, but I think Sony's dumb. I think that they're they're more available now, like a lot more available, right? Like yeah, you can go yeah, into yeah, a yeah. Target and get a PlayStation right. Five now. Yeah, but they should they should coast on that, <laughs> not complicate it further. <laughs> I also find it weird that this article said that this pro has been in development since 2022 and they're sending out dev kits now. That's mm -hmm. insane right. that usually something like that would have been in development since the launch of mm -hmm. the original and a year turnaround for development kits is it's fucking nothing. insane. Yeah. Um, also, okay. So the, the original article that talked about the, Slim model says the PlayStation 5 is set to get a unique overhaul in the middle of fiscal year 2023 with a new console launching around September 2023, sources say. So I guess that's the Slim. I remember hearing that they speculated that the Pro version was going to come out this year, which uh, app is, is, is also insane to, to, to think that. But, but the new rumor now says 2024. Um, but we are getting a new console this year from PlayStation. It is the what should we call it? This guy. Uh, the Project Q. No. Well, yes, but I was going to talk about the Spider-Man. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> so this is a new SKU for the PlayStation Five. This is uh, a new SKU. I mean, technically. Oh, like, <laughs> like as far as like retailers, yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, yeah I, th yeah, I right, think. Right, it does have a different serial number, but it uh, just because it's a new SKU, I, I assume. I don't. I don't think mm -hmm. this is going to have any sort of different insights. Mm -hmm. uh, I mean, they've done very small changes to the insides of a PlayStation Five, but uh, nothing you know that's going to increase. Now performance I'll say that much. this: this here is a W because you can mm -hmm. buy the plates. Separately. Really? Yes. I did not know that. That is a oh big my God. W. Will they I am be available those. though? Because they haven't no. had the plates available <laughs> in so long. I think you can buy the controller too, so you could just straight up have this console without buying this console. That is such a that's that is a massive W. I didn't know that. Yeah. So the black one's the only one that matters. You're talking about the black plates? Yeah. Yeah. Oh, you can buy them. You can buy them right now. Yeah. Yeah. What's this one? I want to see this one. Oh, ew. What is that? LeBron James Limited Oh, that's the edition. LeBron James one. <laughs> I just saw Kevin Kenson uploaded a video about that. <laughs> oh, no. Or no, he tweeted. He did one of those two things. He said something about having that. <laughs> <laughs> that's sick that you can get the the the, the plates. I Now, the I, cost of the plates is nuts. That is insane. What, $60 how for plates? Oh no, that's fine. The full console what? costs five hundred dollars for a Switch dock, and this is literally just plastic. Literally just <laughs> plastic. Literally just plastic, and it's sixty dollars. That's insane. Mm -hmm. You're you're not. I want to pay half painted. of that. True, true. You know what? Fair enough. I guess it is ten percent of the price of a PlayStation Five. The that's crazy. Spider Man PlayStation Five. That's crazy. Some plates cost them four dollars to manufacture. When I first saw this Spider-Man edition PlayStation Five, I was like, "That's I'll go. I don't like it at all." And then I looked closer and I saw that that's the symbiote, and I was like, Ooh. "Never mind. I like it now." See, the, that's cool. I now. like it. I like it, but I I <laughs> wish that it was just. I wish it looked like the the other PlayStation, but it was the symbiote still. Like this is like the other PlayStation. Centered, what do you the mean? other PlayStation? Uh, the PlayStation Four. That is the uh, Spider-Man one where it's like the white spider, but it's like in the center of the PlayStation, of the, of the console. Yes. Yes. I that wish is that cool. this that was cool. that. And then they put the symbiote still like in the same kind of way. It just wasn't the spider like fucking catty corner. <laughs> yeah, that's cool because the whole thing's red. Mm -hmm. But I know I like the symbiote though. The symbiote's cool. I like the symbiote. I like it. I just wish the spider was more center. Yeah, you know what? I kind of like the way the controller is because the spider is in the direct center. Yeah. Yeah, Same. you're right. You're right. You're right about that. The spider should be in the center. Uh, this is cool. I'm not going to get it because I already have a PlayStation 5 and I already I'm have a black one. I'm getting the plates unless I can't. 
I'm gonna try to get the plates and proceed to never play my PlayStation Five. I'm gonna play this <laughs> game though. It is sick that you can get the plates. This is the first mm. special edition PlayStation Five. The first PlayStation Five you can buy that's a different color, as far as I'm mm. concerned. You could yeah. buy plates, but this is the first time you can get a completely different thing. Now this comes yeah. out, I think, a month before the game comes out, so it does not come with the game. You just get mm-hmm. the the Spider Man. Um, yep. So take with that what you will. But uh, y- this, I think, also means that uh, like they're releasing this is coming out this year, so I don't think there's any way we're getting another playstation 5 console this year it wouldn't make any sense because we already have this why wouldn't they make their big game this year come out with the new you know what i mean like the new console would be the playstation 5 edition spider-man edition playstation 5 pro yeah so but it looks cool will i play the game i will I don't play my PlayStation, but I'm playing this. Will you? This is like 70% of why I own a PlayStation 5. For Spider-Man? <laughs> yeah, because I was I, I bought it because Ratchet and Clank and Spider-Man and Horizon. Um, and then Ratchet and Clank came out. I played that game. Like, I, I opened it. I literally started playing it. I was on, like, the tutorial stage, and I clipped through the, the geometry of the of the stage. And then I was like, yeah, okay, maybe that was just a, a one-time thing. I tweeted it. I was like, oh, look at this. This is crazy. This is insane that people are acting like this is like the pinnacle of gaming. But I'm 10 minutes into the game and I'm already falling through the floor. It <laughs> happened again in the, in the same stage. And I was like, okay, I can't. I can't play this. And then I didn't play my PlayStation again for like a year. I wonder if they updated the game to fix that. Probably. But I'm burned. <laughs> like I'm, that game has a bad impression in my brain for the rest of all time, which is unfortunate because I know people like it. No, I get, um, I but, get that. I would not. That's enough to get me to rage quit a game, also. Yeah, and yeah. it has, it has before. Mm. Yeah, I've seen. I've seen there. <laughs> um, <laughs> but with Spider Man, I got to do it. Mm-hmm. Uh. Anyway, there we were alluding to that the Project Q is coming out sometime this year, and uh, we have leaks from presumably someone that works in manufacturing in China who uh, just has one because I guess they were they're working on manufacturing it. So here it is. Uh, it looks like absolute trash. <laughs> It looks like a, a Nintendo console, uh, like a um, what is it? Uh, a, a patent, <laughs> like this, one of those yes. patent images. This looks like something a YouTuber would make as yes. like a gag, like like. I well, definitely it, saw this in a TikTok, but the only difference is the 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 controller. I mean, like the the buttons were part of the screen. <laughs> it was like like see through buttons, and you could see the video game through the button. Oh that's yeah, that thing like futuristic. Yeah, like the screen pops up. <laughs> like, yeah, there's one guy that does like these like CG renders of consoles, uh, Nintendo consoles and stuff, where like the controller is like in yeah in the screen and shit. Mm-hmm. Yeah, this looks like that. If you, again, if you showed me this, I I'd be like, yeah, bullshit. That's not a thing. But now, I mean, Sony announced it. <laughs> yeah, we're this, in a very very weird this is time. Literally, just the Nintendo NX. Sony literally, it. yeah. <laughs> uh, it 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 still baffles me that it's just literally a dual sense sawed in half on on a like cheap ass tablet and it's thick like look at the back of this thing why why is it so thick if it has over no under three hundred dollars i i think 300 will be lucky <laughs> you think it's gonna be more than three you think it's gonna be as much as a playstation 5 i think it's gonna be 350 Let's see or, or or three twenty five, like a weird number. But yeah, I, th- I yeah, think it's yeah, gonna yeah. be over three hundred dollars. If we hit three hundred dollars, I think we're lucky to even get that. But I think it's gonna I be more think, than that. I think it being three hundred dollars is or three fifty. I think three fifty is the most realistic thing as far as like what's gonna happen. I would mm-hmm. not pay a penny over two hundred dollars for this. I know two hundred dollars would 
blow my dick off. But, but <laughs> that's my new favorite. That's my new catchphrase. Uh, that is a good target. And, and PlayStation could do that because they will make money on the PlayStation Plus premium sales and stuff. But they Assuming won't. this will play PlayStation Plus premium streaming, which it's not confirmed that it will yet. Wait, is I thought it was a, I thought that was what it was for. <laughs> you would think, but no, they said it's only for remote play streaming oh so my far. God, PlayStation bro. Plus premium streaming, which runs so much better than remote play, is not confirmed for this thing yet. It, I, I also it, think... it's pretty clear that they're working on it and it's probably mm. going to be out for this thing, but they haven't announced that yet, which is crazy because they announced this thing and like the best feature of it you're you're not announcing with it. <laughs> Also think it's like crazy to be spending three hundred dollars on a streaming box. That's nuts to me. Yeah, no, that is insane. I like No, I don't get it. I don't get it. Like like it's PlayStation, they know that people will play a pay a premium to stay within their ecosystem. Yeah, and, and, which and, is gross. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, it's like the Apple thing. I I mean yeah. I hope that they've learned that they can't get away with that because of like VR. Like PlayStation VR two seems to be a massive failure. Mm -hmm. I but, mean, the, te the technology is good and people seem to like the technology, but nobody bought it, so I would consider that a failure. But they still can fall back on like we're number one, you know, like we're the best selling VR thing. We're number one in a failing industry. <laughs> yeah, yeah. So, uh, and like... They've had a pretty rough history in handhelds too. I mean. Yeah. The the Vita and the PSP were great, but the sales didn't really sh reflect that. But it was the largely PSP sold fine, but mm -hmm. it was mostly because the market was bigger. Like they they still had a small piece of the pie, the pie was just bigger. They royally fucked up the Vita by saying that yeah. it could play every single PlayStation yep. 3 game and mm -hmm. they were just wrong. <laughs> so, I mean they they've had a history with remote play ever since back then. Uh Hopefully they learned a thing or two. This thing just looks like, oh, it looks like it runs Android, and I think everybody's saying that because of the. Uh, be hello, can I? Can I? Hello, can I? Thank you. It looks like it's play. It, it runs Android because you know you flip the screen up and then it's got the little the little icons on the right side. Uh, this is not what the UI is going to look like. This is clearly. Oh wait, it has a little Android icon right. Oh, those are all Android icons. Okay, that makes a lot more sense. Uh, it's all in Chinese, and uh, I don't know what that QR code. Should we scan the QR code? Hold on. <laughs> it is this guy's uh, website. It is not. It, it returns nothing. It's just a Google search. HB three two HX zero B E zero zero two Q J. That's what it says. I just activated somebody's Winter Soldier. <laughs> um. Yeah, I don't know. Uh, it every I hate everything about this. I think Wood was just in the chat and he said, "Am I wild for kind of liking it?" Yeah, dude, that's insane. That's an insane take. Yeah, you're gross. Uh, you consider everything. <laughs> yeah, I don't. Uh, I still don't get it. Oh wait, there's a picture of the inside. Oh, the the inside of the back. Uh, yeah, it looks like a. Oh, this that is... sure looks like a streaming box to me. <laughs> yeah, there's like nothing in there. So that's the thing is that it's going to, it's specifically for streaming. So everybody's assuming that it's going to be pretty weak, uh, which is another reason why it would be crazy to charge over $300 for this thing. It's over $200. Three, I was about to say it's crazy <laughs> to charge $300. It's insane. Yeah. Um, Again, I think they could get away with charging a lot less if they're yeah. hoping to get subscription service sales. Um, and I, I think they're thinking that they can get away with charging more, so they're going yep. to charge more. <laughs> yeah, which is what I'm afraid of, and why I think it's going to be over three hundred dollars. Um, the it reminds me a lot of the Logitech G, G Cloud, and that started at $350. I think now you can get it for $300, but they can't make any money on the back end by selling software because they're mm. just a hardware company. PlayStation's 
different. They could get away with the software sale. So I'm hoping that this and is at least software, cheaper than the G it's Cloud. Subscriptions. Like, yeah, people pretty much. I mean, it doesn't. Apparently, it doesn't support this. But off rip, you you have a pretty strong reason to like make people subscribe to PlayStation now, right there. Yeah, so you can do PlayStation Plus. No, I'm sorry. You could do. It's very confusing. You can do PlayStation Remote Play yeah. without a subscription, I believe. Right, but right, right. PlayStation Plus Premium Streaming, which runs better, mm -hmm. uh, you will need the like more than the basic tier of PlayStation Plus. Exactly. Um, so, like, if this supported that, like, it's not required. But it's pretty strong incentive for them to be like, hey, you have this thing. You might as well, you know, like, yeah, it's kind of like buying like an Amazon Fire Stick or whatever. And it's like, well, I got to get Prime. <laughs> you know what I mean? Yeah. No, I agree. I just got iCloud. Oh, yeah, I it, saw that. It yelled at me for the for the last time. And I was like, I can't do this anymore. I I'm still I'm still holding strong. I, you know what it was? Um. I have a 128 gigabyte phone mm -hmm. and I always just delete my pictures because I have them backed up on Dropbox anyway. So I just delete yeah. the pictures. I did that and it said I still didn't have a lot of space. And I was like, I just deleted the pictures. What the hell? And then I looked and it was over 120 gigabytes of just iMessage. Yeah, same. That's and I was it. like, because like, like people sending videos and, and yeah. all this. Yeah. And I was like, I use like this to like search stuff. Like I, I look through past conversations like, oh, yeah, what was that thing that we were talking about? Mm -hmm. Like I use that for like work and shit, you know, like for yeah. it and be like, what did I tell that person? You know? Right. Um. So I was like, fuck it. I'll pay two dollars. You got me two dollars a month for the rest of my life. I'll pay it. <laughs> Anyway, Wood says it's just a PlayStation 5 controller with a screen, no fluff, no filler. I don't know what's not to like about how it looks. Wait, what? What you said is why I don't like it. <laughs> yeah. Like a PlayStation 5 controller as a PlayStation like this, right? This right here, this is fine. Putting a big ass screen in between <laughs> in between this is what messes it all up. But, but I also <laughs> don't love the look of the PlayStation 5 I, and, and, and the controller and every this like weird like iRobot shit that they tried yeah. to do with this generation. I don't love that already. Yeah. So I'm not, you know. Hey, you know what? Now that you said iRobot. I think I think that it makes sense now. That looks like something out of like a like neo future kind of like sci fi. It looks terrible, but it looks like something that somebody that would write a story in that like world yeah. would design. <laughs> like this is what the future looks like. I, I don't understand why it's so thick, especially if the controllers are not attached. They're like you have so much room for the controller stuff. Mm. I. I well, actually, we see the inside, and there's just emptiness. <laughs> yeah. But there must be other stuff on this inside. This, I, I don't buy that this is all that, that's there. Whatever. That's Project Q. I'm going to get it. Yeah, you have to. Because <laughs> I have to, but... Yep. I mean... I, I don't, so I'm not. <laughs> I'd much rather play this stuff on any other handheld device that I have. Mm -hmm. And... and PlayStation Plus Premium Streaming seems to work fine on a Windows device. I hope it comes to Android. That'd be a lot easier. I mean, hopefully, my theory is that this runs Android. So when this launches, they will also launch PlayStation Plus Premium Streaming on Android. They just haven't announced that PlayStation Plus Premium Streaming works with this thing because they don't have it working on Android yet. Mm. That's my theory. Anyway. Uh... Where are we? Where are where am I? Who are you? You're AJ. How you doing? Uh, I'm good. We're talking about PlayStation uh, Project right. Q. Uh, we got a bunch of notifications from people. Like, oh my god, so many. I missed <laughs> so many. Samurai Murato, thank you for the prime. Sachi, thanks for the two months. Red 12 Monkey, thanks for the two months. King Wizard, thanks for the 13 months. If the Switch got a Blu-ray player, it would pass the PS2. What? <laughs> in sales? Oh, in sales. That must mean in sales. Because the PlayStation 2 is the best selling yeah. console. Mm -hmm. Uh yeah. Maybe oh, no. Maybe? No. No, it's too late. I for think it's gonna I think it's gonna pass the PlayStation 2 anyway, but the 
Blu-ray yeah. has nothing. <laughs> yeah, how much more do they... They don't need much more. I think they need like 30 million yeah, units. 30 million or something like that. They could do that in a year. They need 199. Once one switch is like one hundred and ninety nine dollars, they're they're passing. Well, that's the, the that's the the light, the lights. No, I mean the regular ass switch. Oh, uh, drop the price of that. Yeah, because people just buy the the highest price SKU anyway most of the time. Like, so so being able to get the one, you know, mm -hmm. for the that low of a price, I think they're going to fly off the shelf. Because like the the purpose of the switch light is largely. To be like, ah, I don't trust this eight-year-old with a full Switch. I'm not spending that much. So I'm going to spend the $200 on the, the Switch Lite. But then the eight-year-old's like, but my brother has the better one. I want the better one. I don't want, I don't want the, the crappy Switch. So if you can still spend that price and it's just the one, mm -hmm. I think people are going to be more um, willing to spend the money and buy one. Yeah, a lot of the reason why the Switch is so successful is because... Uh... People buy handhelds for multiple family members. Mm -hmm. So one family will have multiple switches. So it'd be easier to buy more than one if right. you lower the price dramatically. I would literally have bought so many people switches if it was $200. Because mm -hmm. I wouldn't recommend most people to get a switch light. So I'm mm -hmm. not going to buy them a switch light. But if the regular switch was a was that price i that's impulse buy territory you know that's what? like i've been telling you to get a switch here i'll buy it <laughs> you know e every year they do the mario kart 8 yep. pack in for uh christmas and black friday mm -hmm. they should drop that to 250 so it's they the reg should. it's the regular switch so it's not the oled normally 300 dollars. drop it to 250 comes with the game there you go I think that's also the craziest part, right? Because they they have been doing that same deal since the Switch came out. Mm -hmm. And for the majority of the time that they've done that deal, it's retail price. It's not even a, a yeah. it's not a deal. It's yeah. literally just like a $360 console that is like, it comes with Mario Kart though. It's already in the box. Yeah, it comes with a 10-year-old game. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> like, that's insane. When people are like, man, Switch sales are slowing down time for the switch to i'm like no it's time for a price drop <laughs> like <laughs> we're skipping several steps here all right oh there's more we got thodrick thanks for the raid apparently uh brutal beast thanks for the 32 months hey bob last steam deck video was great oh my god thanks so much uh edward bova thanks for the 12 months he'll give you a recap later when you do yeah give me a recap of this podcast <laughs> <laughs> um mostly green next for the 37 months hello bob looking quite breedable this evening all right okay thank you i appreciate it. i did my hair today uh just david barber next for 24 months bob doesn't like thick confirmed not in my not in my handhelds okay holy shit dude uh okay we're done uh, that's it for playstation if you're a playstation fan get out I would have told you that way before this. <laughs> uh, we're talking about Dolphin. So oh, no. a, a few... Reggie, go away, leave. Go away, Reggie. A <laughs> few weeks ago, uh, Steam took Dolphin off of their page. Like, you, you were... They were announcing that you would be able to get Dolphin, the GameCube emulator, through Steam. Uh... And they were launching it, I don't know, it was like a pre-launch thing. Uh, and then Steam said, hey, Nintendo, is it cool that we have this on our store? And Nintendo said, uh, thanks for letting us know. No, it's not. Take that shit down. And then Steam <laughs> took it down. Uh, Dolphin, I think, was gonna try to fight back. And then they decided it's definitely not worth it. So this is them saying it's definitely not worth it. So they threw it there. As of uh, July 20th, Dolphin released a statement saying we're throwing in the towel. We're not going to try to get on Steam anymore, uh, which only makes sense because you really want to fight both Valve and Nintendo. Would they be fighting Valve? Like, didn't Valve, they're, they're more or less like, hey, man. Like, they're the referee. They let Nintendo yeah. know. But they're, they're at the end of the day, they're just the middleman. I don't know if Valve is like going to take them to court, you know. So 
the last time there was a big controversy about uh uh nintendo and 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 oh it was nintendo and point crow nintendo took down point crow's yeah. modding videos and stuff uh moon channel released a video he's a lawyer who talked about like uh, the legality of mods and stuff like that uh mm -hmm. and it was a very good very informative video um he also released a video about uh the legality of specifically dolphin as an emulator mm -hmm. um and unfortunately a lot of what is widely considered about emulation uh to be legal is still a gray area yeah uh specifically the reason most people think dolphin uh was or the, the reason most people think dolphin is 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 is, is a, a legal problem is not that it's able to play gamecube games because uh that was proven to be legal a long time ago uh through a different court case mm -hmm. it's that there's uh uh what do you call it they call them cryptographic keys it's it's like yeah. a it's like it a drm yeah exactly it allows you to skirt through the it, it gives you the tools <laughs> to yeah. get through drm it gives you the drm so like mm -hmm. uh if you used to play you know pc games back in the early 2000s there'd be like a like a like a key gen like a key like a like a cd mm. key to play the game you'd have yeah. to download the game or put the disc in and then type in the cd key in order to play PS the game ps3 and xbox 360 generation tried to do that for a little bit too yeah uh so the freaking gamecube had that but it was built into the disc uh or something uh dolphin comes with all the cryptographic keys that you need to play all of the games uh mm -hmm. that is a direct um infringement on the digital millennium copyright act the dmca so yeah. I don't know how illegal or how egregious it is. I don't know how much Nintendo could sue them for, but we as YouTubers know a lot about DMCAs. Yeah, so at the yeah. very least, it's very easy for Nintendo to be like, hey, this infringes on the Digital Millennium Copyright Act. This makes it so that people can infringe on our copyright. It gives people the tools to infringe on our copyright. Right. Uh, we want this taken down. So... Yeah. It's that seems very clear cut. Yeah. And to be clear, like them saying that, Nintendo saying that means essentially nothing <laughs> unless you <laughs> let them, you know, because like copyright law and fair use and all that stuff is not decided outside of court. You have mm -hmm. to take them to court. If if Dolphin's like, nah, we have a case here, we can win this. And I I, I just want somebody to do that. I want somebody I to take it to court so that we know for sure, beyond a shadow of a doubt, okay, in this situation, this has legal precedent and it said this. So this is allowed or it's not, you know? Rather than it just being like people speculating based off of what they want to be the case. <laughs> That's yeah. the most frustration, uh, fr frustrating part about it to me. Um, yeah. I, the, mm -hmm. the laws are dictated by the people with the most money because they're yeah. able to fight uh, for whatever laws they want. If, if, if Nintendo feels like they're being infringed upon, they're going to dump a couple million dollars into the court system to fight against being infringed on. But even if Dolphin with, is within their legal right, they don't have the funds to yeah. fight to say that they have the legal right. And that's the case with every uh, emulator out there. And it's the case for uh, every mod out there people who are modding games and stuff this was this happened all the way back with bleem and you know the playstation emulation where they got t taken to court by playstation playstation lost but bleem and the the emulator ended up having to fold anyway because they spent so much money on the legal fees right so they they ended up losing outside of the court system they they faced mm -hmm. the repercussions and just had to fold so I'm very, very concerned, not just for emulation. I kind of understand the, the legal issues with emulation. Uh, I think that there's a case to be made for preservation. Like, yeah. like if people aren't, 
if game if companies like Nintendo aren't making available the games throughout history that are 20 years old that that uh that we want to try out and play like we have them and they're deteriorating I want to you know keep them safe uh if they're not allowing us to do that there's some issues there like there should be no mm-hmm. reason why I can't pull my uh Mario paint off the shelf upload the rom and play it on my computer there's no reason why i shouldn't be able to do that uh nintendo would argue that you can't do that that is copying the game and that's an infringement uh i there there's a case there to be to fight against nintendo um i but i understand most people are fucking downloading the game and that's gonna have some legal repercussions i'm Mm. most concerned with modifications and the whole like point crow scenario Mm-hmm. If you own the game, you should be able to do whatever the hell you want with the game. I think that's the part that makes it gray area because you don't like you own a, a license to the game. And the same way that like like now, I was trying to I was literally the the video that we were talking about, the Donkey Kong video. I was trying to use Mario movie footage for that. Um and there's no way to just buy the movie digitally mm-hmm. and use the footage because it's all DRM because you just yeah. own the license. So like I can I I own it on iTunes. I can only watch it on iTunes. I own it on Amazon. I can only watch it on Amazon. Well, it's a similar situation here, but they just up until now haven't had the tools to be able to like enforce that in the same way. So you're right. Like you can't. That that that's uh the image the the, the rights mm-hmm. to the to the image like you can't just claim it as your own and post it on mm-hmm. youtube you know and you can't like kit bash it and, and mix it all up and post it on youtube so that's where like point crow got fucked because he it's it he modded it but nintendo's like hey that's still our image and we don't like what you do with it so we're gonna take it down mm-hmm. uh what i'm saying is if i take you know ocarina of time off my shelf upload it fuck with the code and then give other people the tools to do the exact same thing with their copy of ocarina of time i think that's perfectly within my right and within their right to do Mm -hmm. so uh that's what i'm worried about because nintendo would argue you are not within your right to give people the tools to fuck with their copy of the game Mm -hmm. and i don't have the funds to fight yeah. against nintendo for that i don't know any other modder that has the funds to fight with nintendo about that but nintendo has the funds to argue in court that Class hey we don't suit. want people <laughs> yeah so i don't know what i like i want to i don't know what the solution is other than a big company like like valve to mm-hmm. try to do something but they don't want to poke the bees nest either you know they don't want to get that in trouble with nintendo either because right now people are buying steam decks to emulate games and they know that Mm -hmm. uh it's a a beautiful and easy way to emulate games but there's a chance where if valve goes to nintendo and says hey we're gonna keep dolphin up but we think it's legally then they're taking standing valve court. Like, yeah and then and think, then they like, valve Nintendo does have could, the money to fight it valve yeah, if anybody has the money to fight it, valve has the money to fight it but what if they fight it and lose then that's what then there's no of. emulation anymore at all yeah i think that's yeah. the thing though like i think valve talked to their lawyers and their lawyers is like nah man nintendo's not wrong and then valve's <laughs> yeah. like fuck <laughs> you yeah. know like that's I, the thing though their lawyers right? probably like, said there is a little ch- there is a chance that they will win this and valve had to be like well we still they have retroarch on you can get nintendo emulators right now through retroarch on steam mm-hmm. and they're like i mean we want to keep that going we want to keep emu deck going everybody's buying our stuff and using emu deck so I mean, we should just shut up and allow this mm-hmm. to w- just be a, 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 an open secret. It's fair. Yeah. I, I hope I hope somebody fucking... That's all it, I want. I want I, somebody to be able to take it to court. <laughs> again, I understand in the terms of emulation. I don't understand in terms of me taking my copy off the shelf and playing it wherever the hell I want. And I mm-hmm. don't understand with modding. Modding, I think, needs to be something that needs to be. Protected. I think that's a Japanese cultural thing. That that's that specifically modding yeah. specifically, I think, is like a big no no 
<laughs> in Japan. Yeah, they have a lot stricter rules around that stuff. We mm -hmm. have the right to repair, which is right. still not a thing. Like they're still trying to fight for a right to repair. It, it it's made a lot of good strides, but no one's been able to pass anything because all of the big companies are fighting against it. And and, mm -hmm. and you've got all these fucking politicians that don't know anything about technology. Um so somehow we gotta fight harder for right to repair and also include software in that because right now mm -hmm. everybody's just worried about being able to fix their tractors when they break down <laughs> right. we also got to worry about uh the software that we have that goes you know obsolete and then gets uh, uh, uh taken up by the community uh, mm -hmm. and in our case it's video games when that software becomes obsolete and the community keeps it going right Anyway, that's Dolphin. Uh, and then uh, there we are. My notifications fucked up. No, no, we we got through everything. Uh, Flo says, didn't they invent modding cars? What or just make it damn popular? What are you talking about? Who invented modding cars? Uh, John Deere. <laughs> um. Oh, Japan japan did mm. see it's it's not modding like as a whole it's software specifically like they're they're really precious over software yeah they they care a lot less that's why like um stuff like uh you know like the uh retro pocket and like or, or that's a bad example like the analog pocket that's a that's a better example that's why that sort of thing is able to be sold in like walmarts and shit <laughs> like i've seen multiple places that i could just buy uh uh what was the other one that was before this um retron the mm -hmm. retrons yeah they used to just sell those in regular retail sh stores because the the copyright or whatever over the uh the consoles that you're going to be able to like physically reper uh like re uh re-engineer and be like oh this can play n64 games it's not an n64 but it can play n64 game so um, that's because of the case law that said that you can recreate the BIOS. Right. Uh, and that's what they did. The, the, the Retron has the BIOS for all of those consoles that it emulates in, in there. You're buying it with all of the BIOS available. Mm -hmm. uh, I think that there's a chance that some big company could take another big company like Valve to court over those that same issue and win. Even though mm -hmm. the case law states that years ago we decided that BIOS wasn't able to be copyrighted, I think there's a it, it we could see a judge just completely overturn that. So that's also scary. But yeah. you got company like companies like Apple that are saying like, hey, you don't own your iPhone, we own it, you're just licensing it. And mm -hmm. Nintendo does the same thing. And that flies in Japan. They're cool with that. They don't right. care for some reason. But here, that's insane. We live in the yeah. land of the free, baby. I go to the store, yeah. I buy something, <laughs> that's fucking mine. Mm -hmm. Speaking of emulation, you I mentioned they landed free. I was about to throw up. <laughs> <laughs> um, you mentioned the Retroid for some Ooh. reason, and then you talked about something else. Because uh, I was Retroid. trying to think of the console that, or the, like the, those consoles that they have, like you could play Genesis games. Yeah, the and... Retron. It's very yeah, yeah, yeah. they they don't have uh, unique names. They're they're, mm, yeah. they're they're not very creative with the names that they have. Um, like we have here, the Retroid Pocket Two S. Not to be confused with the 2 or the 2 Plus. We have the 2S. <laughs> um, this is the first Retroid I will not be getting. Because oh. it's... I'm just so sick of them. <laughs> and Why don't you get it from them? Get it from them? Yes. They don't, they've don't. they never sent me one. They've never sent oh. me a, a Retroid. And, and my understanding is that they're... Uh, they don't send them to anybody. Oh. They might, uh, but I've heard from other uh, YouTubers that only do emulation stuff uh, mm -hmm. that they don't they don't have a contact with with the Retroid at all, which might have changed. Um, but yeah, I already did not like the look of the Retroid Pocket Two, 
and this is the it. exact same look. They changed where the thumbstick and the and the D pad is, which is nice. That's a nice change. I like that. Um, the screen is still four by three, which is I think a step down from the uh, three and the three plus, which we already got this year. Um, Wait, this is, the, the three yes. and the three plus is a thing, but this is the two S. Oh yeah, dude. <laughs> That's where we're at, man. What the fuck? I know. I hate this. I hate this world that we're in with these companies releasing like 14 different versions of the same thing in one year. Um, but they the, went backwards. They went they backwards. They have the three and they're making the two again. Yep. Yep. So it's a spec bump over the two plus. <laughs> it's a spec. It's a step down from the three and the three plus. Uh, okay. Mm -hmm. uh, but it's cheaper. It's a hundred dollars where oh or a hundred fifty for a metal one. Uh, the I don't remember what the Retroid Pocket Three Plus. The Three Plus I think is one fifty. Yeah, it's one fifty for the Three Plus. So this is fifty dollars cheaper. Or thirty dollars cheaper. That's the thing is that these pricings are so close to each other. You're like, well, I might as well spend the extra money to get the other yeah. one. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. Uh, I don't think there's any world where this makes any sense. Like you can now play GameCube and PlayStation Two, kind of. <laughs> you can already kind of play that stuff on the Pocket Three Plus, but now you can play it worse on this. For $100. Is, kind of is it like certain games work fine? Mm, yes. Melee is going to run bad on a uh, 3 mm -hmm. plus. It's going mm -hmm. to run worse on this. But you could play it. Okay. And what about Melee but with like UCF and like texture pack? <laughs> oh, no, you could forget that. That's just not going to happen. <laughs> Um, there's a lot of tweaks you can do to get certain games to, you have to do the tweaks for each individual game and, uh, there's no guarantee they're going to run good still. So, mm. uh, I hate, I hate this. Like, like we've already, this is do nothing. they advertise it as being able to play YouTube? I mean, YouTube, GameCube? No. So, so when I okay. see a console like this release, I love to just immediately my first thought is, okay, what console can it play up to? Mm. And they don't advertise that because they'll get in trouble. Uh, but okay, other, yeah, true. That makes sense. Other websites I was more so that sell it will, like, will tell you. Mm, I, was, I was more so thinking along the lines of like, if I buy this thing, not me specifically, but like in theory, if somebody were to buy this thing and they're like, man, I can't wait to play Melee. I can't wait to do Slippy on this. <laughs> and then they, they buy it and they can't. And like the one game that they bought it for runs like garbage. Like that yeah. has to suck. Yeah. That, that's, and th that's something that really frustrates me about this like market is that you'll watch a YouTube video from somebody who only does emulation and they talk about uh, how great everything runs. You know, mm -hmm. they'll do all these wacky tweaks to get like GameCube emulation to work really good. And mm -hmm. then they'll make the video and say, Hey, this one GameCube game that I played runs perfect. And then you get it and you play it and you're like, mine runs like shit. Also, <laughs> I want to play melee, not Pikmin and melee sucks. So like I bought this <laughs> thing for GameCube and now I can't play fucking GameCube. So when I make a video, if any game that I try and I always try to play the most like graphically intensive game when I when I or or among the most graphically intensive. I play Melee because I like that game, but also it's hard to emulate. Mm. Um and it's easy for me to tell like when there's frame dips and stuff. Um I try to do something graphically intensive. So if there's any issue at all, I just go, no, don't fucking buy this thing for GameCube. You're going to have a hard, you're going to have a bad time because if, if I don't want to get people's hopes up spending over a hundred dollars to buy something and then they get it and they can't do the thing that they wanted to do. Yeah. You gotta, you, you gotta have a section in the video of like whatever emulator thing or steam deck or whatever the fuck where mm -hmm. people say it's easy or whatever. And you guys think would AJ buy and use this thing? <laughs> 
it's, if it's not lit if i can't literally download the thing open the thing play the thing i it's not easy it's <laughs> It's become more difficult for me to do that. Like I used to be able, you know, I, I don't like to fuck around too much. I want to be able to just get in and get out. Mm -hmm. um, but I've done this too many times now where I'm starting to lose the layman perspective, you know, mm -hmm. like, like, mm -hmm. like I. Your floor has just become expecting that you got to tinker with some shit. Yeah. Like, like, uh. Again, I like to think of myself as somebody who doesn't tinker with shit that much when it comes to like an emulation console. I just want it to work. But um, I talked about this before, but one of my friends got uh, an Ein Odin because he's like, I want to get an emulator. What should I get? And I was like, this one is fucking awesome. It's really easy to set up. And he got it and he goes, all right, I got it. There's nothing on it. I was like, yeah, it's an Android like phone, basically. Like you have to put all the stuff on it. He goes, all right, what do I put on it? I was like, RetroArch, Dolph. Oh, yeah, you don't know. If I was him, I would have just made you do it. He's he's like, he, he's like, where do I get the games? I was like, the ROMs? He's like, what's a ROM? I was like, oh, shit. We're, we're here now. Mm -hmm. I will. I, I want to give Retroid credit. When you buy a Retroid, it's Android, and you, you start it up. It gives you a list of all of the emulators that it recommends and downloads them for you. So... I'll give them credit for that. They do make setting it up a lot easier than a lot of other consoles. It's just unfortunate that uh, they release too many and the emulation quality could be, and the manufacturing quality could be better. I, I was extremely disappointed with the Pocket 3. Um, and the 3 Plus can do GameCube kind of. So, I mean, for the price, I still think it's a pretty great, uh entry uh but the 2s no i'm not happy with that i'm not getting that i wouldn't recommend that wait for the four man the four is gonna be great yeah it'll be next week you could you could play we on that one <laughs> <laughs> I, I fucking doubt it um but only uh the pikmin one we game uh EGC Matrix in the chat says, what's your opinion on the amount of Anbrunic handhelds being released recently? Do you think they should take their time or do you like it as it is? I don't like any of these companies releasing devices over and over again. Uh, I don't know who Anbrunic is. You know the little tiny one that kind of looks like a Game Boy? That was my favorite. It was... It was uh, yes. That. Those guys. Okay. Um, well, there's Me, You, and there's Anbrunic. <laughs> Ooh. Ambernick is a lot easier to get. They don't really sell out. They're they're a bigger company and they're able to manufacture stuff easier. Um I used to love Ambernick. They were like my the first company that I liked their consoles. Uh then they released too many and a lot of them started to get worse and worse. So I hated them again and now I like them again. Um but they are releasing too many and uh I think they just got to nail one and then nail the next one. Don't like, they basically use us as their quality assurance. Um, and I don't like it, but again, they can't make sales on software. They've got to make the sales on hardware. So, uh, that's why they sell so many. That's why they turn them out so much. So I like Anbernick, but it's, it's it's also difficult for me. Like part of the reason why I'm frustrated with Retroid is because I don't want to just make Retroid videos. Like I want to, mm -hmm. it's got to be really different and cool if I'm going to make a video on it. And these things aren't that different from each other now. So that is something that's very frustrating. Just re-release the same video about the, the two, if, if it's the 2S, re-release your two video and then <laughs> add like... A, a one minute addendum of like uh th this one plays uh freaking pikmin to five percent better yeah than five frames <laughs> more <laughs> and, and i'll dub over every time i say retroid pocket two yes yeah. yeah exactly exactly um more emulation news here we go we got the analog pocket another one uh aj talked about before <laughs> yeah that mm-hmm Oh, this is a very short. But that—that's closer to what I was. I mean, that is literally the sort of thing that I was talking about. Like, I, that whole copyright thing does enable this. Yeah, this was one of the biggest deals in in emulation when this was announced. Uh, this was like the most mainstream, 
-hmm. and they seem to skirt by just fine yeah uh because of those legal precedents that were set many years ago but again i think that there's room for a company to like, ah, let's revisit that yeah it would be it would take a lot of money but i think that it's possible that they could could win that battle anyway uh the analog pocket is one heck of a retro game anyway wait hold on if they do fight oh i'm having my add's going all over the place if they do if nintendo does happen to be like hey we want to you're blurry we want yeah my mind is like that if you want to go <laughs> if, if they want to revert the president and like try to fight somebody like analog over like uh the bios issue and stuff um there's room for uh like like nintendo could win and then that fucks emulation across the board or uh they could lose and that's a big win for the right to yeah. repair that would have there would have to be a big right to repair rally during uh a, a legal issue like that if it ever does arise retro gamers need to unionize right and then go on strike Stop playing the games. <laughs> the analog pocket. Wait, what am I even talking about? The analog pocket supply is finally catching up with demand. I keep getting comments from people talking about how they are still waiting for their. Uh, they've been waiting months for their analog pockets still, even though it came out two years ago now. Holy shit. Uh, the analog pocket is one type of retro gaming system, but it has been plagued with supply issues since it launched a while back. Thankfully, analog has now issued a statement which confirms that production is catching up with demand and all pre-orders placed, placed, but they typo before July this year will be fulfilled in August. All pocket pre-orders placed before July 20th, 2023 will begin shipping in August. The company said this includes orders with an analog pocket and or pocket accessories. Pocket adapter sets will be shipping separately in 2023. The FPGA based handheld has become increasingly popular with retro fans. Thanks to its ability to play original cartridges, as well as open FPGA cores developed by the community. So I've heard this before, like last year, they also ramped up production, but I guess this is an, uh, another step up. Um, I think they were just, maybe they just announced that they had like the first wave of people finally all got their pockets. Mm. And now we're getting word that they'll be able to actually have like a less than a one month turnaround. So that's, that's good to hear for everybody who complains in my comments section now you just have less than a month and analog we were just talking about how they you know kind of very much benefit from the rules of emulation uh but they also you know released those uh, part of what Part of the re the way they skirt around is that they have the BIOS built into the system, so you can play a Game Boy and stuff and whatever. Um, they cheekily released the BIOSes, you know, available or the cores available to everybody th mm -hmm. under like a pseudonym. Like they, it was very clearly them. Uh, so if there's ever like a raid on the analog offices they'd probably get found out but uh that's their way of skirting around uh getting getting caught they they allow everybody to you know pretty much use roms on their consoles but uh they they uh they 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 they, they, they feign ignorance they're like no we don't we don't uh it wasn't us it was some other guy with the same icon and name <laughs> anyway one mad driver thanks for the prime tynology thanks for the 27 months good to see you aj thanks summer gamer thanks for the 10 months uh and then a bunch of emojis uh have you heard of these pizza scented controllers i have the teenage Mutant ninja turtle ones yeah dude first get all of them <laughs> this is uh, yeah, how could you just get one? This is from Xbox Wire. <laughs> this is from Xbox. First I mean, ever pizza-scented Xbox and TMNT Mutant Mayhem controller. 
do you have to put first ever there? Wait, like first ever to me Im- implies that people were like, like they wanted this one, and two <laughs> that there's going to be like more, <laughs> you know. I, this, what's the? I need to know what the pizza. What is that? The the pizza slice on the back. What is that? Is that the part what that smells? Mean? Look at look at the look at it. Yeah, I know. I see it. I know the way that pizza scented technology works. <laughs> I t- apparently, I do not. Uh, we are giving away limited number. Oh, they're giving them oh, away. Bro. I fucking hate when Xbox does this. Sometimes they release really cool limited edition stuff, and sometimes oh, you thought this they was do a, this one bullshit. of the cool ones. You yeah. thought this was a cool one? <laughs> yeah. Amp up your gaming with TMNT scented fucking controllers. Satisfy your... They said that. They said fucking in the Yeah, article. that's what they said in the article. Audio Satisfy audio. your hunger for kicking butt with the world's first ever pizza scented controller designed to deliver the smell of the turtle's beloved meal to your game time. These exclusive Xbox controllers come with a built-in scent diffuser shaped like a slice of delicious New York za. That's not what that means anymore. Za? You know what Za is, Bob? No. You don't know what Za is? Is this is this a Gen Z lingo? N- n- no. Um, <laughs> it's a weed thing. It's a weed. Oh, I knew that. Wait. <laughs> yeah, I knew that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. You uh, hate the smell of Za. You know, it's like a skunk. Anyway, the controllers comes in four variations, each representing the signature colors, weapons, and personality of a turtle brother. And then they name the turtle brothers. Fan- fans can enter to win the wireless controller by following Game Pass on Twitter and retweeting the official Xbox Game Pass sweepstakes tweet. The giveaway will run from July 24th to the thir- to August 13th. The official rules, blah, 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 blah. So, so the pizza slice is a scent diffuser. Mm-hmm. So that's where the scent comes from. Yeah, obviously. Oh, no. it's like it's like it's like when you have like a what do you what do you call it? Like a humidifier and you put the little uh-huh. droplet that yeah. has a droplet of pizza slice in it. I mm-hmm. get it. Mm-hmm. They a should just sell of pizza slice is cursed. <laughs> they should just sell that separately. It's just the pizza How's it going to attack? Oh, it's, I got it. I figured it out. It's okay. the battery pack. Yeah. That's what they do. They fucking attach a piece of slice to this. And then yeah. there you go. <laughs> That's all that anybody's going to care about. Like, the, the, yeah, getting a Leonardo themed Xbox controller is cool. But I just want the pizza slice. <laughs> just keep just sell me the plastic pizza slice. Jenna Azaric on Twitter has it, showed it off on Twitter. Okay, well, I got I gotta actually see this. How come she gets you to see all the cool X stuff? On X. Oh, on X. Uh, <laughs> yes, that's true. Oh my god, it comes in a pizza box. Okay, now we, oh it is! You're right! It's the ba- it's the battery mm-hmm. pack. I'm an engineer. I, I am not, <laughs> I don't know if you knew that. I wonder if it's powered by that. It's got to be. Oh, you put the oil in. Oh God, that's absolutely that's so... disgusting. <laughs> I don't. I don't like how it looks like olive oil either. Yeah, this is gross. Teenage mutant ninja. Ah, sorry, Jenna. Sorry, <laughs> talking in my ear. Uh, I'm disappointed you can't buy that. Um. All right, next news. Miyamoto hmm. says that Pikmin. Are Nintendo's most global characters. He's insane. Yeah, that's an insane thing to say. I'm very curious what his reasoning is. This is from Nintendo Life. Uh, I'm just going to read the quote. I've been saying for a long time, this is Miyamoto talking. Just imagine he's saying this in Japanese. I've been saying for a long time that Pikmin games tend to stand out due to their world and characters, but I think they're also interesting as a game genre. Furthermore, I want people to have this real sense that Pikmin are all around us, that they aren't just fantasy creatures. Oh, God. He's, he's been... 
been doing a little too much za. He's uh, yeah. <laughs> Uh, Pikmin have no set age or nationality. They have a unique presence as creatures that exist somewhere on Earth. That's not the case with Mario. We know he's an Italian dis descent in the he's of Italian descent in the Super Mario Brothers movie. And it's not like you can bump into him walking down the street because he lives in the world of Mario. In fact, I have I definitely met Mario before. Yeah, it's, sure. my, it's my uncle. In <laughs> in fact, I consider Pikmin to be Nintendo's most global characters. Since the pro promotional campaign we launched over 10 years ago, we've been saying Pikmin are all around us. I think we've finally reached a point where people can find Pikmin in various places, not just in their imaginations. I hope more and more people become aware of Pikmin and play Pikmin games. Uh, this is Miyamoto announcing that he has his own Jurassic Park, but it's Pikmin. <laughs> he has literally brought Pikmin into the real world, and we're all going to die. Does Does Pikmin sell well? No. I'd imagine He not. wants it to badly. Yeah, it, it seems like it. <laughs> he wanted Pikmin to replace Mario, basically. to, to be, That's why Olimar's name is Olimar, because it's like a Mario anagram. Oh, is it? Yeah, oh. with an L, which is irony. <laughs> well, the R and the L is interchangeable in Japanese, so that's... Yeah, oh, but Olimar oh. also has R. Is it? But oh, anyway. Yeah. That's a good point. <laughs> um, um, I mean, yeah. I mean, when I think of, like, uh, the most global franchise, it's Pokemon. Yeah. But I, I guess easy. that they don't take ownership over that. I still don't think Pikmin's more global. Animal Crossing. Okay. That, yeah. Well, now, yeah, for sure. If, if you mm -hmm. if you had told me before, if you asked me before the Switch version, I'd be like, no. But after the Switch version, absolutely. Pikmin yeah, is. Yeah, but even that, like, see, that's the I thing. I mean, Animal Crossing. Yeah. That's just ignorance. <laughs> because <laughs> Animal Crossing has sold a lot for a long time. Like, a long time. Like, the 3DS version sold, like, 18 million copies or something like that. Yes. <laughs> like, every Animal Crossing in existence, just Animal Crossing on the GameCube sold more than Pikmin ever. <laughs> Lifetime combined. Yeah, but... New Horizons sold so much. Yeah. That yeah, was like a global something. phenomenon. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh, Pikmin ain't never coming close to that. Never. I mean, the franchise is not. They, I know that he feels this way about Pikmin because of Pikmin Bloom. Like, they really wanted their own Pokemon Go. They saw mm -hmm. Pokemon Go and they were like, we need that because that is a global phenomenon. How can our characters can't be global phenomenons like that? And you got Pikmin with these tiny, cute little creatures, but the problem is that they're all the same. <laughs> they're all the same they, tiny little creatures. They're all creature. the same, and people don't care. Like if people, if yeah. Pokemon Go was the first Pokemon game, it would not be Pokemon Go. You know, right. like Pokemon Go is enabled by the fact that Pokemon is Pokemon. Mm -hmm. So people are like, oh shoot, yeah, I've been wanting this for my whole life. I've always wanted to catch a Pokemon in, on, on the bus. Mm -hmm. I will say though, I noticed. Uh, they, I think uh, Jackson brought up that there were like these Pikmin animations that they release on yeah, the Pikmin Nintendo U yeah that they released on the Nintendo YouTube channel years ago uh, in between Pikmin games. And they were a 3DS video thing that they put on the YouTube channel after. They so got that's when they were like, "Oh, video on 3DS." They got millions of views on mm -hmm. YouTube. Uh, I was very surprised that they did as well as they did. But at least one of them was promotional material for Pikmin Bloom mm -hmm. because they were trying to ride that really hard. It reminds me a lot of um, how, like, <laughs> the minions are just, mm -hmm. they're all just the yellow little, little bean-shaped guys. But uh, they decided, let's take that character and make a fuck ton of them and they're all different and then we could sell all the different ones and that's why that became a global phenomenon because you could buy all the different ones and pikmin hasn't hit that yet they're just it's the same fucking little pikmin guy there's a red one there's a blue one and there's a yellow one there's a lot there's a lot of different ones but colors there's not they, they, yeah they don't differentiate like a red pikmin is a red pikmin no, they don't have like the cute one. They might they don't have, have like, like a different the flower one. on his head or something. But <laughs> yeah, there's not the one that like you know his his flower's a little droopy. 
the, the, the one guy, his his eyes are purple. <laughs> so, like they they don't do that. Yeah. I think Meanwhile, they do in Pikmin Bloom though. They, but I don't know. I didn't play that. In Pokemon, there's a thousand of them, and they're yeah. all wildly different. Mm -hmm. So. I don't. I, I. I. think that they're not close to achieving the Miyamoto, Miyamoto, Miyamoto goal here. Imagine somebody popping off because they got a shiny Pikmin. They're like, "Yo, <laughs> I got a shiny red Pikmin." <laughs> you know what? I thought we were done with uh, PlayStation and Xbox. No. No. Here we go. We're back in it, baby. Xbox and Sony's recent hardware sales report tells very different stories. I'm just going to read this big red text here. After a surge in sales last year, thanks to a relaxed supply chain, a surge in sales last year, thanks to relaxed supply chains? Isn't that a direct contradiction? No. When you're relaxed, you're not, like, tensed. You know? You're not, like, being pulled at both ends. Oh, this is a literal chain. Yeah. We're relaxing yeah. it. Yeah. Okay. Okay. I understand now. The last few quarters have been slower. Xbox hardware Hard sales. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks, IGN. Uh, sales were down 13% in quarter two and then down 30% in quarter three. Okay. 30% is a lot. That is a lot. I, I'm, I'm not surprised coming from microsoft i would be surprised coming from playstation none of this would be entirely shocking for a console sold three years into its life cycle except that its direct competitor playstation has recently enjoyed some of its best hardware sales quarters yet oh that's what we're learning we're learning sony is definitely winning in quarter four uh playstation reported hardware sales three times stronger year over year and announced it sold nearly as many units in the previous financial year as it had in the one prior bringing its total sales to 38.4 million units granted this one was quarter ago okay i'm not reading this anymore i'll fucking i don't know what happened the PlayStation is selling a lot. The Xbox is selling not so great in comparison. Yeah, that's not big news. Uh, I mean, it's kind of news that it's gone down significantly while PlayStation is yeah. going up significantly. Um, I mean, PlayStation is able to... looking like? That's the question. Yeah. PlayStation is able to produce more now and they've had trouble in the past. Uh, mm -hmm. Xbox hasn't really had an issue. Uh, and... Yeah, it seems like we're at a point now where uh, Xbox kind of gave up and was like, we're going to make money on the subscription side. Mm -hmm. You guys can just take all the hardware sales. We're not going to compete in the console wars in that way anymore. The console wars are way different now than they were 20 years ago. Yeah, everybody has their own little, little piece of the pie. Yeah, or their goals or what they're trying to, trying to hit. I mean, it'd be, I'm sure Microsoft would be more than happy to sell as much hardware as playstation is right. yeah at, at the same time xbox is trying to do the game pass thing and they're trying to do subscription services and whatnot uh playstation was shitting on that during the court cases they were and like nobody they're... yeah nobody cares about game pass it's bad for developers and now they're trying to do the exact same thing mm -hmm. i'm sure that they're trying to do it in their own playstation way and they're trying to do things differently so that and in their be, eyes developers don't worse. hate it It'll be worse. Yeah. Yeah. I'm not, uh, I am skeptical about it. Um, but at the very least, I have hopes for the PlayStation Plus premium streaming. I, I, I enjoyed that more than I was expecting to, especially because PlayStation Now was so bad. Um, remote play is cool, but it doesn't run great. Uh, it, especially on a uh, third party software, I'd love for them to be able to allow you to do it on more devices because i have a billion devices that would be great for remote play same thing with playstation plus premium and that's part of why i like game pass so much because i could just do it on whatever device i have they allow you to do it anywhere because it's a subscription they just want to yep. take your money do it on whatever you got yeah so the other day i was uh laying in bed i was like i got like an hour it was only three in the morning. Uh, so I was like, 
I want to play something. Let's see what Game Pass has. And I had my little Windows device and I was scrolling through Game Pass. Uh, and I saw Naraka Blade Point. It's like a ninja battle I saw royale. Somebody playing that. Yeah yeah, yeah. yeah. So I want I was like, oh, I wanted to try this game. Uh but I don't want to download it. It's gonna to take too long. So I just hit the streaming button. I was right in. I made an account and I just started playing. And that was it. And nice. that is the future. <laughs> no man, you can't physically stream a game. You wouldn't stream a car. Or something. I'm paying for it. I'm paying for it. <laughs> I also think the game's free to play. But it was just on Game Pass, so I don't know how that deal works. But I think the future is people sitting at their PlayStation 5s being like, oh, I want to play, you know, the new, uh, I don't know, Gran Turismo or whatever. Uh, mm. And they hit download, and the game is, is like, download will end play. in four hours. Or mm. stream it while you wait. Yeah. They tried, to, they tried to, like, sell people on that dream last generation mm -hmm. where they they have like an experience that downloads after a certain point and it's like you can do the tutorial while the game downloads um but being able to like just literally play the full game and i i do like it in that context like i usually don't like i was literally just talking to my friend wes about playing um exo primal and he's like uh, I told him that you could stream it on Game Pass, and I was like, I don't think I want to do that though, because I just don't trust that it's going to like work as well. Um, but if it was like more position like that, where it's like you can stream this as you download it, I would do that way more often. Well, I think it's a good case for a game that you just want to try. Maybe you don't yeah. want to take the time to download it. Maybe you don't want to clear up the hard drive space. You just want to try it out. And. Mm -hmm. Exo Primal is a game you just want to try out. Yeah. <laughs> it's not yeah, a game yeah, you yeah. got to play that much. But I don't see the thing is like, I don't want to stream it because I don't know if that's just going to make it even worse. Like, if that just guarantees the thing that I'm thinking about it, where it's like, I don't, I'm probably not going to like this game. You've got, but if I stream it and it doesn't run well, <laughs> you know, like, if you have good enough internet to stream to Twitch or to even do a video mm -hmm. call like this, you mm -hmm. will be fine. You're not going to notice, oh. especially on Game Pass. I don't think you're going to notice anything. I felt uh, like that with the, uh, cause, you you did the Google streaming beta yeah. thing a long ass time ago. That works fine. Yeah. But for whatever reason, after doing that, I still don't like think that it's good in my head. <laughs> like, yeah, no, th there's there's a negative connotation. Like I want to, yeah. it's a video game. I should have the least amount of input lag possible. Mm -hmm. And I understand that. I don't think streaming is the ideal. But when I was mm -hmm. playing freaking Naraka Blade enough. Point, I didn't feel like I was streaming it at all. I, that mm. thought left my brain. Even when I was doing some remote like another... play stuff, mm. I didn't feel like I was streaming it, even though I, I clearly was. It could be another thing, too, where it's like, in my head, I'm thinking, like, man, input lag sucks. But most of that is, like, I, my brain is thinking, like, Smash Brothers. <laughs> like, it's thinking, like, a game I know, in, like, intimately, where mm. I, I press the A button, I know when the input is going to happen on the screen. But a brand-new game I never played before maybe that input delay won't matter as much <laughs> yeah i noticed that with uh controllers with like mario like if i'm mm -hmm. or different emulators with mario games um mm -hmm. uh like when we first got um the game boy advance games on nintendo switch online something was weird there was something i was like something about this is giving me a tinge of input lag that's fucking me up um and I think they actually fixed it. I think that they released an update that fixed it. Um, but you're right. A new game. Also, like a first person, uh, not first, like a, like a one player, a single player game. Mm -hmm. you, you're not, you, it, you're not going to notice or, or even care, you know, if yeah. there's a little bit of lag or some, or some issues. Uh, but a, a multiplayer game, like I used to try to stream uh, Warzone through remote play. And that was a game that I had a lot of experience with. And, uh, yeah, you can instantly feel it. And I was like, I can never play this online, like competitively. Mm. But Naraka Blade Point is Battle Royale. I was playing that just fine streaming. But again, it was my first time playing it. So I didn't know mm. any better. Um, so yeah, I would say give Exo Primal a try streaming if you want to, if you want to do that. I downloaded it, played the tutorial, and I'm deleting it first chance I get. <laughs> you don't like it? What's wrong with it? It's just... I wanted to try it, 
and it's just mm-hmm. it's just very very just middle of the ground there's okay. just a lot mm-hmm. of other things i'd rather you know spend my time mm-hmm. trying out um last bit of news that we have here uh is fpga for dreamcast dreamcast could be getting its own fpga core this is a uh, time extension.com according to pixel cherry ninja who has been conferring with electron ash these names recently the core un sorry i wasn't showing my screen the core unfortunately won't be compatible with the de10 nano which is the fpga that the mister uses but will require the release of a more powerful fpga module in order to be functional that's pretty cool right now it's just a very basic state machine in verola okay this is too many words that's cool so the mister is fur fighters on this thing (laughs) So the Mister is is like a it's like an analog type deal, mm. but it's a it's it's a home console. It's not portable, uh, and people upload their own cores to it, their own FPGA cores. Uh, and my understanding is it can go up to like PlayStation One just fine, and above that it gets a little dicey. So having it, Dreamcast is a pretty big deal, and I'll say that I've had a pretty good experience emulating Dreamcast on most handhelds that I've tried it on. So uh that's cool. That's cool that we Yo, will hopefully like Power get Stone. Power Stone Soul Caliber. True. You can play, play Soul Caliber too. Two? Yeah, play the use boy Zelda. <laughs> the first one was pretty good. I, I played it the that other day. <laughs> I played it the other day because it came up that it is one of the best rated games of all time on Metacritic. It's like top three or something ridiculous. That's crazy. And then I, I was like, I I remembered it being good from back in the day, playing it in like Sears because I never had it. Um, <laughs> but then I loaded it up and it's fucking good. It's really good. <laughs> I haven't played that in forever. AC. AC likes Soul Calibur a lot. He would agree that it's one of the best. Of course he would, but he's a Dreamcast <laughs> stan. Yeah, so you, am you, I. You mentioned any Dreamcast game. No. You are not. You hate Dreamcast compared to AC. <laughs> All right, that's it for the news. We're done. Uh, um, we're we have to retire the tweet of the week because for two reasons. One, I didn't put it on this OBS that I'm using. <laughs> but also, it's not. We can't call it tweet anymore. They're not tweets. I'm still calling it tweets. I, I said on Twitter, I'm I'm not calling it X. I fucking refuse. Yeah, I refuse also. But also, I haven't been on Twitter because I keep getting rate limited because I use TweetDeck and it uses up all the tweets I'm allowed to look at every day. That's crazy. I haven't been rate limited since the first day. The first day I got... But then also that's because like I got rate limited the first day and then I was like, okay, I'm just not going to use Twitter anymore. Yeah. <laughs> so like, what, what a perfect way to get people to stop using your platform yeah exactly it's just a horrible decision after horrible decision i I still can't believe the amount of people defending this man who's been making horrible yo they're temporarily uh, embarrassed billionaires they're gonna be just like him (laughs) one day can't can't make fun of him because then people will make fun of you when you're a billionaire too. I, I want I want to I had a really good interaction with somebody over it that I that I have to I have to read because I tw- <laughs> I I tweeted about how were they verified? Maybe hold on let's 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 see. There is some strong language coming up. Mm. <laughs> um. All right, where is it? As long okay. as it's slur free. There might. That's there, also the type. There's also the, that's the type to use a slur. For there sure. There might. There. There. There's a bit of a slur, <laughs> a little bit. Uh, that's crazy. <laughs> so, I said, "Oh my god, it's actually X. What a fucking dumbass!" Because <laughs> I couldn't believe that he was gonna. Ch- I heard that they were gonna change the name of Twitter to X.com, and I was mm. like, "It's probably like a meta thing." Everybody was saying yeah. Facebook was turning into meta. It's just the parent company. That makes sense. It's not stupid. I get. I get where he's coming from. No, they're literally not calling it Twitter anymore. I can't fucking believe that. That's insane. They have all of this brand recognition. Their whole reason that the company was purchased in the first place, and they're just like, "Fuck it, it's X now." 
I want at this point, I want Meta to buy like the Twitter name and like branding and like like mm -hmm. buy the rights to all that, and then just literally replace Twitter. That shit would be hilarious. <laughs> so I'm gonna read a uh, comment that I got uh, again. Strong language. Uh, he said, "The richest man in the world is a dumbass. Call me retarded." Yes. Oh, and then I said, "And you'd still be broke." <laughs> fair i i he still I, follow you <laughs> yeah he said he sent a crying face emoji and then i liked it he was a good sport about it mm. i i don't like this idea that like being he the world he has to be smart yeah like like that's all it takes to be smart is knowing how to make a lot of money is that all there is in the world? i know a lot of stupid people with a lot of money <laughs> i yes Yes, the, uh, having money and being smart does not correlate at all. Yeah, at all. Yeah, you it can be out. smart and use that to and make it. a lot of money. That's mm -hmm. fine, but it does. It, you know, it's apples and oranges. <laughs> this man is an emerald mine baby. baby. <laughs> yeah, he <laughs> is a nepo baby. And like, you could be a nepo baby and then take that money and make more money out of it. But you're mm -hmm. still a nepo baby. <laughs> like you yeah. still, you still had a jumping off point, like Donald Trump getting the small loan of a million dollars. Small you know? loan of a million dollars, man. Still, you have, but also you have to be pretty fucking dumb to not be able to make more money out of a million dollars. <laughs> you have to be. I mean, like aggressively stupid, like aggressively stupid. A lot of people, a lot of millionaires say the first million is the hardest. So getting given a million dollars yeah, is exactly. Like, a cheat code you're cheating yeah that's insane <laughs> yeah this is coming from the armchair millionaires here um <laughs> all right that's it uh now we will read uh comments from last week's wolf den podcast once i pull them up because i realized i can't pull them up because then you won't be able to see aj <laughs> <laughs> um oh my god i have to log in again oh no Oh god, I gotta do the QR code thing. I had to log in to Twitch yesterday to raid somebody. It made me so angry. You had to log in to raid somebody? Yes. I'm like, yo, I'm literally streaming. Why do I have to log in? <laughs> that's that's ridiculous. I do like the whole scan the QR code thing to log in. I do like that. All right. Uh last week's Wolf Den podcast, we got Tiller who says, Hey Bob, I picked up the 8-bit do controller you recommended for Switch and Steam Deck, and it might be my favorite controller. Thanks. No problem, dude. They make good controllers. Um Charlie Fenn says, UK has a lot going on. Also, just had arguably the largest supermarket chain, Tesco, announced they that's the largest supermarket chain. Hey man. Wait, is that different than Tesso? Yes. Tesso is a Japanese supermarket chain. Uh, anyway, Tesco announced they will no longer sell physical games. It's a supermarket. <laughs> <laughs> They're different there, though. Just those eShop cards weird. now. So now we really have very little places to buy games in person as our actual game stores have been shutting down for a while. Another step forward, another step towards fully digital. I know a few places like, like Eurogamer have mentioned it if you're interested. Uh, yeah, I see that. I mean, we've a lot of GameStops have closed down, so there are a lot fewer places to get physical games. There's fewer places to get less mainstream physical games. Like, Places like Best Buy, they're only going to have the newest and most popular games. They're not going to have like the off-brand stuff, which is why people go to GameStop. But even GameStop now is not going to have stuff like that. I can't even think of the last time I've been to GameStop. Me neither. I was thinking about that the other day. I, yeah, I don't. I just I buy everything digitally now, and if I want a physical game, I'm ordering it, wizard. or I talk to the wizard, and the wizard gets me the physical one. Fred, who pulls the comments, also commented and said, Will, who is not here, now that we are about a month away from the live action release of Netflix on Netflix, you going to oh watch One God, Piece. He's talking about you Fred, you're gonna need as, to comment as that the will again. as the will this week. Um hell no. It looks get the fuck bad. out of here. Stop asking me. <laughs> it looks pretty bad. You know what else looks bad? 
Fooly Cooly, did you see that? They announced they're doing another yeah. Fooly Cooly. That mm. does not look good. So I don't... I think the, the anime live action thing, like people would be like, it could never be good. It's insane. It's crazy. It's nuts <laughs> when we look at like how successful like the MCU is. Yeah. It's the same shit. They're both comics. <laughs> like you can yeah. make it. You just had it. Just has to be made by people that give a fuck. Comic book movies have caught up in the, in the sense that people that are making them now give a fuck. Largely, it's, it it's just yeah. It's just like comic books. It's just like video games. And, and mm -hmm. we just finally hit the point in video games where video game movies can be good. <laughs> Yeah. So we got to hit that point with anime. But also, do we like? I don't need these things to be recreated. They're already good in the, the, the first time. I don't one need them to hit the mainstream. Okay, One they, Piece. If, yes. If, if they want people to watch that shit, that that's too long, man. True. That's the I, thing. I might watch the One Piece live action thing. Maybe. I will not watch the live I'm action thing because it a looks thousand bad. Episode. I, <laughs> True. I don't know what it looks like. I will watch a reboot of One Piece if they do a, mm. a reboot, but this is not it. I'm they not need to do this One looks Piece bad. Kai. Do you even know a Dragon? You know Dragon Ball Z Kai, uh, Dragon Ball Kai. I'm gonna assume is? it's a it's a reboot. It's like an abridged, not Dragon, not Dragon Ball Z abridged, but like Dragon Ball Z, but abridged. You know, you know what I mean? <laughs> it's it's like all the filler for the most part cut out. It's like ninety episodes versus like. 300 or something like that. Oh, yeah, I don't know. Larry the Koopa says, two dudes eating Oreos and talking with their mouths full about Mario. Peak content right here. That's why you come. Hey, man, that's that's a classic Wolf Den Live episode, man. <laughs> you clearly knew here, bro. The Summer Coast says, nothing new is coming out, yet Xbox released Hi-Fi Rush, and people forget about the game quicker than my dad forgot about all my accomplishments. Damn. I, we did get a lot of. I saw people in the chat talking about uh, Hi Fi Rush when when talking about uh, when we're bringing up how Xbox doesn't have anything. They had Hi Fi hey Rush. Hey man, they got Game Pass. I don't care. Hi Fi Rush was awesome, but it's not the system seller. Mm -hmm. Game so Pass. I, it's... Yeah, I, I I I I was over the moon about Hi Fi Rush, but that's not gonna win the console wars. You know, it's not gonna get people to sell their PlayStations. Uh, S. Marcy says, Last of Us is mid as fuck. Just look up the yeah, ending. No. <laughs> That's crazy. Look up the ending of... Oh, I think he means The Last of Us 2. Because I was talking about how I never finished The Last of Us Part 2. I kind of just mm. fell off halfway through the, mm. the, the, the ending. I, I, was, I was all the way like towards the end of the game, and I was just like, I'm, I just fell off. Oh, um, I thought you like got angry like the rest of the internet. No, I wasn't... Uh, no, I just... God bored you didn't of the game. Throw your controller at the wall and say, They betrayed my trust. And the, storm out of your room. The, and the right problem angry is the or, problem is they spend Z. so long building up the characters and then they give you they force you into this relationship. You have you like build a relationship with these characters. Then they force you into the rela a relationship with a new character, and I just didn't care. I was just not interested. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. And then uh, I this is coming from out. somebody that largely doesn't give a fuck about the last but i mean it's fine um but i think that's kind of the point <laughs> like the whole point is that it's supposed to be a fucked up world mm -hmm. and it's like man the people that you love die sometimes <laughs> and that's what happened the person well, you love died i mean this i don't think this is a spoiler mm -hmm. at this point but mm -hmm. the second half of the game you're playing as a completely different person yeah you and gotta that's see the through your eyes too man <laughs> that's the type of bait and switch that ha happens a lot in video games mm -hmm. And it's never great. Yeah. Like, like the the we talked about this last uh, episode, but the big one that I always think about is Metal Gear Two. People like that now with the perspective that they know they're going to be playing as Raiden. But mm -hmm. back then, everyone was like, "What the fuck is this guy? I, I, where's my guy? Where's Snake?" That's what happened to me with uh, Assassin's Creed Three. And you start the game, and you're the, whoever the fuck that british guy is or whatever and i'm like bro i don't want to play as a british guy yeah <laughs> so yeah where's the other dude um but yeah you eventually play as the other they guy. also make you play as a boat and that's cringe i don't want to No, be that sucks i don't want to be a boat either <laughs> um anyway uh hello now we're in the chat original spiff says bob and aj what are your thoughts on the ubisoft news about digital games via steam I don't know anything about that, but that sounds really cool. 
isn't that the thing? <laughs> it's like inactivity, like you could lose your account or something like that if you haven't like used your account. It's just gone. Or something. What? If that's what it is, I think that's bad. Thumbs down. My thumb's not out of focus, though. <laughs> Ubisoft Digital Steam. Wait, this is from April. These Ubisoft games are officially coming to Steam later this year. Okay. I don't think that's, that's it. I don't think that's what we're talking about. <laughs> Digital games via Steam. What's wrong? Wait, what? What? Link me an Original article. Original said, yup, AJ. <laughs> Link me a, a damn article. Uh, the way the animation is made, drawn on both spectrums. All right, I don't know what you're talking about. I don't know what the hell you guys are talking about. I think that's unrelated. Uh, oh, man. Bob, thought, Sea of Stars I is... You were the one with the with the video game news podcast, am I right? <laughs> Flo says, Bob, Sea of Stars is coming out day one on both PS Plus Premium and Game Pass Ultimate. Some people have both services, and there are pros and cons to starting a game on PlayStation Plus versus Game Pass. Sounds like we need a video to tell us the pros. No, that is a Kevin Kenson video. Apparently, he <laughs> is a big Sea of Stars guy. I think that's probably an RPG because if he likes it, oh wait! Hey man, Parker's probably gonna make a video about that game. Subscribe to us. I forgot about this game. This is made by the guys who did The Messenger. It's a prequel to The Messenger, but it's a role-playing game. So like, ew, dude. <laughs> ew. I'm a big fan of The Messenger. I'm a not fan of RPGs. Uh, I'm gonna put it in the chat. I'll put the Ubisoft thing in the chat. Okay, thank From you. From PC Gamer. Let's see here. Your Ubisoft account can be permanently deleted for inactivity, but Ubisoft says that won't happen if there are purchases atten attached to it. That's fucked up. Or are they get that sounds to me like they're just getting rid of their Ubisoft storefront because they had like a big push for like their own Ubisoft like ecosystem and launcher and shit. Um, mm. And it sounds like they're getting rid of that because they don't have any money anymore. True. Um, I mean, okay. If you don't have any, well, if you don't have any purchases, whatever. Uh, so this there, this yeah. is an update. I don't know if the person that asked this question saw the update, but okay. originally people thought that it was just like, if you have Ubisoft account, you don't use your Ubisoft account anymore, it's gone, it's out of here. Mm -hmm. But according to this update, that's not true. If you have a Ubisoft account and you used it at one point, you bought a video game, you still have that video game. It won't be deactivated. But if you made oh, a okay. Ubisoft account and you're like, ah, I'm not buying it. What else yeah. is attached to your Ubisoft account? Because I have accounts for every one of these damn publishers because they make you use their launcher and sign up whenever you play a game that has any sort of internet connectivity at all. So I assume that there's like, I don't know, achievements or something in the account. Like, is that going to be okay? I don't know, man. You got to ask Eve's go kill them all. <laughs> <laughs> I... I largely don't care about my Ubisoft account. Uh, it's just in the way when I'm trying to play a game. So whatever, take take it from me. Ubisoft is in the way when I'm trying to play a game <laughs> in general. They could delete my account. Uh, Tokyo Pixel, thank you for the four months. All these game storefronts drain my soul. I'm with you. I tried to... When I was downloading Excel Primal to play, mm -hmm. I... Uh, the EA launcher opened up and was like, log in. And I was what? like, what? It's a Capcom game. Yeah, I was like, it's a Capcom. Uh, fine, I'll log in. And then I logged in and it's like, thanks. And then closed. And I was like, <laughs> they heard that? that you're playing other people's games. I was like, where's XO Primal? And it was open. It, But the EA launcher just jumped out and was like, ah, don't forget about me. I'm here too. Play me. <laughs> you want to play Madden? <laughs> So that was that was weird. Also, that launcher didn't work the last time I tried to play Jedi Fallen Order. So it just miraculously out of nowhere decided it wanted to work when I wanted to play Exo Primal. I don't know. 
Uh, Jeffrey Swords, this is always a treat seeing AJ on here. Sorry I missed the first hour. You better be sorry. But it's okay. You're here now. Bob, He's do I need to play... To do. Bob, do I need to play Metroid Dread before I watch Oppenheimer? Yes. Yes. Yeah, you need to play Dread mode. You gotta Dude. play through the entirety of Pikmin 4, then watch the Barbie movie, then watch Oppenheimer. Yes. Shadowbender says July 28th is the last day to get three free months of a PC Game Pass if you have YouTube Premium. <gasps> oh, wait, I don't have... I don't, I don't know how this works. So I have you a right... Have YouTube Premium. You got to. Yeah, but I have the whole Game Pass, not PC Game Pass. Yeah, you know? but I think it, like, converts to... So it's like... I don't know, man. <laughs> now, here's another thing, though. I got something that i don't i don't know what it was i had to, maybe it was a new computer or something and it was like you get a month of place uh, of, of uh, game pass ultimate you get a month mm -hmm. all you got to do is give us your credit card information i was like first of all you have it already <laughs> so why are you asking me again second of all that means you're gonna charge me for the month after but i'm already paying no nah, they're gonna charge you for the month i don't know <laughs> so i don't understand are, my, are you just gonna tack on a month i don't uh, know something's m fucked about that most of my i like just recently started paying for game pass because i got like three years because i had x i had like two years of xbox live gold before it died and then they i got a free ea play or something like that and like a year or six months of ea play converts to like three months of game pass oh it's God. a whole thing man they've made it a lot easier to understand now with the different tiers but it was in in the past it was like yeah, you, you certain amounts of like uh, Xbox Live Gold convert to like this discount on I don't know. Uh, yeah, because not... they were burning money at first. At first, it was just like, yeah. oh, you got you got three years of Xbox Live Gold. Bet you got three years of Game Pass. See now, Amish Day Trader in the chat says, no, you can cancel just after you get it, and it's fine. I know that, but I have Game Pass, and I want to <laughs> continue to have Game Pass. So why am I getting so a month get and where's the month, month going? You get one free month. Also, I don't know how much I pay. I feel like I was grandfathered into like a cheaper rate. So I don't know. If I do this, are they going to fuck me into paying a like the thing? I don't think it works like that. I just got an email from YouTube because YouTube, you're, you're, if you got YouTube bread when it was YouTube yeah. bread and not YouTube premium, you're grandfathered into like nine ninety nine or something like that. And they're like, yo, bro, we know that we grandfathered you into a good price, but we're raising the price for everybody again. So we're raising it for you. Sorry about that. Yeah, that happened to me too. I don't want to look because I want to keep all of these services and I don't want to feel guilty about it. <laughs> uh dt hayward in the chat says how's your pokemon sleep progress also saw someone made a mod with a switch to it to auto catch great ball and ultra ball for pokemon go only auto catch with pokeball oh like an actual switch on it okay mm. uh i stopped doing it i did it for two days and then the, on the third day uh i i'm using the pokeball pokeball plus pokeball. plus something like that i'm using that thing mm -hmm. and uh when you press it to record your sleep for the night it sings pikachu sings like a long obnoxious lullaby Why and there's all just sing the jigglypuff thing how come jigglypuff i guess snorlax being the the mascot for this but jigglypuff got yeah screwed man you're right you're absolutely i didn't even think about that uh yeah and he could put you to sleep uh, anyway yeah. uh the pokeball plus doesn't have a volume or anything so uh i didn't want i wanted to press i didn't want to press it because hannah was asleep so like, i was mm. like okay well I'm, i guess i'm not recording my sleep tonight and then i was like you know what fuck it i don't, I don't, I don't need to do this you anymore. don't need the you don't need the pokeball to do that what says pokeball what says you can press it again and he stops singing um, but if you i don't like that because if you press it a second time it stops recording so maybe if you press how it am i again, supposed no. to know does it stop recording if you press, press it again 
That's the point of the button. The button is you press I it once the... to start recording, and then you but press I don't it think again that... to stop recording. I don't think that it's listening for the like. Okay, waiting for you to stop. If it's still singing. Yeah, no, that's true. It that that it's probably correct that if you press it while he's singing, it'll just shut him up. But how am I supposed to know that? And then how am I supposed to know that it's still recording after that? Because it's uh, not like there's that. like a thing. No, the app that see the app doesn't sync in real time with the Pokeball Go Plus. Uh, it takes the data after the fact. So once you're done sleeping, you sync it, and then it takes the data. Mm-hmm. So I don't, I don't like have that Pokeball Sleep Go Ultra Plus. I don't like the idea of leaving your phone on uh, all night. I don't like that. My phone's on anyway. I know, but like on, on. Like yeah. the screen's on and shit. I don't like that. Hideo Benjima with the 19 months says, hey, Bob, hope all is well. Hey, Will. Hi. Have you done something to your hair? Just kidding. Nice to see you, AJ. <laughs> Good um, to be here, man. That's it. We're done. Thanks for hanging out, everybody. AJ, do the spiel to the ending spiel that we was. Uh, hi. Uh, d- d- I don't remember the spiel, man. I haven't been on the show in a year. <laughs> Neither do I. <laughs> I'm on it every you're, episode. I was like, you're on <laughs> every week. Uh, th- thank you for uh, watching, the talking, chatting, something. Uh, thank you for watching. Thank services. you for talking. Thank you for chatting with us. As always, the Wolf Den Podcast is available every single Tuesday right here wow. on twitch.tv slash Wolf Den. If you can't make the show for any reason at all, I'm amazing I, 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 that I made it this far. You can watch it on Apple uh, Spotify, Google Play, and Stitcher, or wherever your podcast services are. Stitcher's dead. Is it? Yes. <laughs> oh. Does he still say Stitcher? <laughs> did he ever say Stitcher? Yeah, he did. I didn't know he said Stitcher. I'm learning. I just black out when Will talk. I do, too. <laughs> I, I don't know the spiel anymore. Anyway, uh, we'll be back next week. AJ is going to stream right now. So we're gonna raid it. It's true. Him. I'm literally click and go live as we speak. I'm Tell everybody play. you all of your socials and whatever for the podcast listen. Uh go to everything slash watch redirect. YouTube just go to youtube.com slash watch redirect or watch redirect.com that redirects to YouTube. Uh and then you know, go to the about page and then the Twitter is there and all that good stuff. Follow on that. Yeah. Uh would just subscribed for 31 months said Val time. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We'll play Valorant. Uh, RP, thanks for the 100 bits. Thanks for the Wolf Den podcast. Bob and AJ enjoyed the cast. Cheers. Thank you. Shouldn't you? You got to go live. You got to hit the live button. I just did. Okay. I am live. I have to type it in. Mm. Uh, all right. Thanks for being here, everybody. We'll see you next week. Actually, we might not see you next week. I have to pick up Will from the airport at the exact time that this show is. I'll so do I it. Don't, I'll I don't do know. it. I'll oh, do the Wolf Den podcast by myself. My <laughs> my dad is my dad's like, what? I can't be on it? You can't do it from the, I'll from do the car? Wolf Den podcast with your dad. Oh, God, help us all. Uh, <laughs> see you later. Goodbye. Bye.